Today what I'm going to show you is by using JavaScript, when the page loads, prompt the user for their name. When the person enters their name, display it on the web page. If the person doesn't put a name, it just alerts hello guest. So I already got the HTML all out of the way because if you're doing JavaScript, you probably have a good idea of how to handle HTML. If you don't, you might want to start looking at some of uh, my HTML tutorials, uh, my site, and things like that. Uh, okay, so we're going to be doing this all externally in an external file. I like to do it externally, cleans up your code. If you get in a long JavaScript program, your HTML coding is three times longer than it really has to be. So the only thing we really do is we have an H3 element that has the ID of username. And this is very important because on the external JavaScript file, basically you have to pull that ID so it knows to where to put the answer. So that being said, go ahead and go over to my JavaScript page here. We're going to start off with a window dot onload is equal to init, init all basically it's telling you uh, once the once the HTML page is loaded and the JavaScript file is executed uh, to immediately execute the function init all that being said let's create that function of init all Okay, so first thing we're going to want to do is we're going to want to create a variable that's going to hold the answer to the prompt. So we'll call the variable answer. You could call it whatever you wanted. You could call it Bigfoot. You could type out the word answer. You just want to stick away from JavaScript known words. Like you don't want to create a variable called document. Uh, that that's a no. That's no good. So. Let's prompt. I like to finish off and then come back so I don't miss anything. Please enter your name, comma, space, and other pair of quotes. This right here is telling JavaScript I, I, I want an answer. Um, basically, that's, that's what that's for. Now we're going to do this because we're going to do kind of like an either or type situation. This is where the if else comes into case. So if ANS, so basically what that's saying is if something gets assigned to the variable ANS, do the following. document dot get element by ID this is where that ID in the HTML page this is where you want this to go dot Enter HTML. Now, basically, what's happening in the document, we want to get the element by ID username and we want to write it, and what we want to write to it, or basically write, is equal as answer. ANS. So, ANS gets writ to the document with the ID username. So there you go. That's basically what it's doing there. Else, you want to alert
Hello, guest. So I'll save this. And let's take my alert. And we're going to load it up in Safari. Please enter your name, John. And there it is. So if we do this again. And leave it empty. Hello, guest. But you notice nothing happens. There's more information on the page that would all still load. It's not like it's going to fail or anything like that. So there in a nutshell is basically how to... When a page loads up, basically runs the function, initial, which alerts the user to ask for their name, and we write it to this H3 tag, or element, excuse me. Basically, I mean, you, you really what this is really to show you is how to, you know, do this. And one of the good, you're probably saying to me, John, why, why do you want to do that? There's other reasons why you'd want to do that. You could, you could say, uh, basically, you could have like a question of the day, like, uh, you know, what is, you know, what is your favorite fruit? And, you know, you could put the answer in there. So there's many ways of what you can use this for, but there's the basis of it. Uh, if you do like my tutorials, please subscribe. If you have any comments, please post to them. Thank you.